Hi everyone, it's AppSketcher and it's me Alia and in this video I wanted to talk about colors and how to pick the colors that actually work together and it's really important and it's a big problem sometimes or often for illustrators and for designers not just fashion designers but like any kind This video is sponsored by Skillshare and I told you about Skillshare before it's a really really cool website where I hang out very often to learn new skills and it has thousands of classes on illustration, on videography, music, business, calligraphy and so on and you can have a two months of a free access to all of them if you follow the link under this video Alright, so now we're going to take a look at those tools that generate perfect color schemes and uh, we're going to apply those colors to actual illustrations so you can see how it works so let's get started so the first program is called coolers when you open it you have just a palette and you click the space button and all the colors change because they are not locked if you lock them then uh, they don't change so let's pick the color so that's how you, you can just scroll the values and pick any color. So I want to have something like a purple mulberry color. So like this. For my first look, I want this color to be there and I'm locking it. So when now I click space button, I get colors that perfectly work with my the color that I just, just picked. And I actually like that orange, so I'm keeping it. So let's first use the, the purple, the mulberry color. I'm using Mulberry Pro Marker for her dress. Here I'm not going to explain rendering part because I'm explaining how these programs work. So I'm doing everything fast. Adding shadows with black. This is like uh, super fast sketching. And uh, well, so it, it looks more dimensional. I'm still going to add uh, shadows and everything with mulberry I'm showing the pleating and then I'm going to show that pleating with pencil as well so that's the first color mulberry and I want to, the dress to have a polka dots so just imagine this situation, you have this uh, mulberry colored dress and you think which colors can I use and that's when these color generators help you. So they help you build the perfect palette. So I locked this like orange, it's a bit reddish orange and I want to use that color for your boots and for your bag. I want them to match. So I'm just coloring her boots and the back. And then um, adding shadows. What is cool about these color generators is that they are based on color theory. And the color theory is, uh, well, it's a big knowledge that people came to uh, observing nature and everything. So, and uh, well, now computers help us build that perfect palette. So I put the uh, sandpaper on the, my main paper and using pencils to show this uh, glitter effect. You can check other tutorials for this technique. And some uh, fluffy texture with pencil on her back. Let's color the handle. So let's pick the other colors. I push the space button and I get different options and you can see they all look great. So I'm, I'm still thinking well, maybe, maybe this uh, kind of lime yellow. Let's put the colors that we picked together and uh, let's check the other colors. Okay, 
next this is more monochromatic this mint is actually good and this mustard color I like it too let's pick a uh, skin tone so we can actually see uh, how everything together will look like because hair and skin color they all matter because they build the whole picture so I'm going to have a caramel color so I'm going to drag it to first two hues that I already locked and here I'm going to color the skin All right, so what about this mint? Just feel that it's like sporty and uh, it's too light. Let's check the other colors. Maybe this, this wine color and no. I actually like this mustard, it came back. So I'm going to use mustard color for her coat and there is a marker like that among pro markers it's just called mustard so now I'm going just to color everything fast so you can see how everything looks together specs I want to make them black with some leopard yellow frames so awesome we got a great color scheme so next one is a pigment and this is how uh, the interface looks like it has these combos of two colors and they are all beautiful you can actually click on the color let's say we choose this uh, magenta and there are all the color combinations that have this particular hue so yeah they all look great so when you push on it you have Pantone coat you have uh, RGB number you, you can pick different values and see how they work together You can use this search bar and actually search for images. For example, cherry blossom. And you have this many, many images of cherry blossom. And again, this color combo based on the image. Because if you want to get inspiration from nature, that's what you can do. So tulip. And again, many options, many different options. Let's pick something from here. I actually like this um, warm gray five and some pure green. That's what I see. Some brown and uh, I'm going to copy the codes of these two colors and paste them to cool, uh, coolers and log them. Uh, and then just uh, match the other colors. So I like this one, let's lock it. So, so this is the palette, let's stop here. And then now I'm going to use it. You can see I already used green and blue on her back and it's black like PVC or patent leather and uh, well black and white they are neutral so I'm less afraid of using them I'm using brown for her shoes and I'm going to use this like blue cold blue like cornflower for a belt and her knitted top so it's going to be blue
I'm doing everything fast again because now it really it's all about the colors and you can see that everything looks balanced colors work well together and that that's the goal to have a good color combination All right, so the last one is a Adobe Color Scheme Generator. And actually here you can pick um, color harmony. So monochromatic is the same hue, different values. Triad are like opposite in three directions. But you can see how they are located. I want to have analogous the ones that are close to each other just want uh, to locate them a bit wider from each other so they are not too similar and I'm just going to use those colors red for the pants purple and violet I want to use them for the floral pattern and maroon which is quite close to that purple I'm adding some leaves around the flowers because I don't want to use green something different since we are using analogous colors and I'm using honeycomb color for your blouse and I, I already see that they are working well together there are many possible options uh, it doesn't mean that I picked the most beautiful ones, I just picked that I liked and there are many ways of, uh, there are many other values and hues. So just play around, it's really fun and uh, it just makes life much easier. Alright, so those are my favorite uh, color generators on the web. There are more if you look for, but you know it's the same like um, photo editing applications on the phone. Like there are many of them, but you probably have your favorite one that you always use. Those are the ones that I pick for my work and, and you can play with them. Uh, they are more powerful and uh, have more features than just ones that I showed. And um, if you enjoyed the video, please click the like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe and see you very soon.